My name is John Benton. I've been a car enthusiast since birth. It's just the way it is. Benton style, for me, is taking something like a Porsche, making changes that don't take too much away from the aesthetic that was there originally. A lot of the cars that I've built, it's very subtle. You look at it, that's a 66 Porsche. But then you're like, wow, you know, it's a little lower. Wow, are those steel wheels? Yeah, but they're wider. What's that offset? What can we do that looks like Porsche? That feels like Porsche, but takes it to the next level? Almost everything we have now existed by 1935. It all existed. The only difference is computers. But my world is the real mechanical world, doing actual repairs to vintage automobiles. The 901 and I were both born in 1963. I came in with it, I'll go out with it. My first Porsche was a 912. I still own it. I bought it when I was 23. It's always been this journey, me and the car. No matter what happens, we're gonna do this together. Over the years, I've owned several Porsches. When it came time to thin the herd, the only car that was gonna stick with me was my 68 912. I also work on newer Porsches. That rear engine, and that mechanical sound, it makes a very, very interesting noise. So then I began the process of building motors and pushing the limits and breaking things. Carburetors are very simple. They mix air and fuel into something called emulsion. This emulsion has to get transported into the stream to that valve and into the combustion chamber in the right mix and has to be ignited at the right time. It's this ballet and they all work in a symphony. I learned that tuning was the dark art that made all the difference. The best mechanic in the world can assemble a motor to a very, very high standard. It doesn't necessarily mean he can tune it. We're so blessed and lucky to have these cars, and they're a commodity. There are no new 1966 911s being built. Out of respect to them, I remain true to the form. But I like to build it a little better. The La Carrera car ended up being a 1962B, highly modified. It's built to a very high standard. I felt that we had built something worthy and the race ensued. First time out, we won. And it was a hard won victory. There were some issues that happened during the race. A funny thing that occurs when you have success, and usually the reaction in a group of pseudo peers is that you're not worthy could feel it. People who had been trying for decades to get even a podium finish, the young upstarts come in and demolish people that have been trying to do this for years. So the next year, we win again. There's a romance with what we do. try to keep it flowing for me into the jobs that are out on the floor. 20 years from now, this place has to be here. There's no plan B for me. My retirement plan is nose on concrete. Do what you do, there's no more days added. They're all taken away. I haven't looked back. It's been
and costly, but it's just money. It's imaginary. The reality are the cars sitting back there. <laughs>